Coming up this week on The Choice. Muzzle loader, shotgun, rifle, crossbow, archery. It's our choice. Welcome to The Choice. This week, we're heading down to Florida. Yep, Osceola Outfitters and Hoppy Kemper. On the couples only hunt. Yes. Well, family hunt, let's just put it that yeah, way. Yeah, it's gonna be a family hunt now. We, normally, annually, we try to do that. Yeah, and, and we go down there for hogs, of course. We have yes. lots of fun with hogs. And, it's hot. And, and we're gonna get it's into rainy. some of the footage. And we also need to check out our food plots here, which is what we need to yeah, do. Yeah, our Antler King food plots are, uh, doing exceptionally well. Yeah, we need to go and check that out. So let's just get into Tim Donnelly. Real you good. go, boy. Posse member, Tim. Let's check out his hunt, it's awesome. Let's go look at it. <laughs> you got it, Nick. <laughs> look at the grass stain, even. Look at the grass stain. <laughs> Didn't waste no time getting through there, did it? No, sir. Razorback does the job again. I like these short tracking jobs. I mean, <laughs> one pig down, nice meat hog. This no barbecue good. Uh, this is our first day down here in Florida, and we've got four couples, I think. Is it four couples? Four couples, yeah. It'll be here hunting, and uh, we've got some out in other areas of the ranch, but as wet as it is, it's hard to get around. It's uh, it's not sunny Florida right now, but uh, we're just trying to spot and stalk these hogs out in the field, park the truck, and get out and do what we can to get to them. Like I say, it's a little, little tough with some of this water around here, but I'm happy with this one. I got one meat hog, and now maybe the next one I can go for a, a little bit bigger one. We had to have Ralph do the weather report because, you know, he's less likely to get hit by lightning. Well, today's weather report, like Travis gave you a couple days ago, I'm going to be a little more accurate today. That is, I believe we're going to have some heavy showers. The wind is going to probably come from the right and travel to the left. The drops are going to be pretty consistent in being about an ounce each. But that's okay. You know, the weatherman today said it's about a 95 degrees, calm, cool, collective day down here in Florida, but us being from the north, we think it's going to be a little different. You be the judge. Mmm. The, the field's tasting pretty 
pretty good there. I think the, the food plot's coming up pretty good. Hey, let's get into Thank Travis. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> let's get into Travis's hunt, shall we? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna go back to grazing. Mm. I can only see one right now. Let's move on up some. Come on. Travis, how's the weather up there? You know, you being taller, you could see over everything. That must be pretty cool. Good hog, huh? This is the one Sonny Boy was talking about? Yeah, this is the one he said. He said, if you get a shot at one of them black ones with the white belt, there was two of them there right. we were targeting. They've been rooting up the pastures, and we knew, it was hard for us to tell, but we knew that these two didn't have piglets with them. It was a right. big, nice, big, big, sow. big sow there. Boy, but she, she had the pigs with her. Ones, yeah. yeah, but uh, this is a nice hog. It's a hundred, probably 130, 40 pound hog, wouldn't you say? Good hog. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good meat nice hog. Nice fat hog. one. This would be a good eating hog, so. All right, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you, Alfie. You bet. Nice shot. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Brian and Judy Bennett, thank you so much for getting Natasha into hunting. And Natasha, you going down into Florida with mom and dad is awesome. And let me tell you something. You smoked them with that traditions muzzleloader. Let's check out her hunt. Pretty sure the black hog is the biggest. We're going after that one. Right on that bear, get your gun on that. We're gonna wait for the black one, okay? You just, uh oh, uh oh. We've been spotted. Are you on that brown one? Take your safety off and put it right on that brown one. And you shoot it when you're ready. Put it right on his shoulder and shoot it. Wait just a minute, wait just a minute. Okay. They're moving off. Whenever one gets sideways, that's when we're gonna take it, okay? I'm gonna stop that black one, okay? We're going to the black one. Right there. Oh. Shoot it. Quarter and away. Get ready again. Get over where the one's going under the fence. All right now, that black one's coming. Hey. Right there. Oh. It's all right. 
wind's blowing right down the road, so let's let's just go down the road. Maybe we can get up there close enough. We can get a shot real quick. Let's go. Come on. Let me carry. You got that. big boar is down. Woo! That's a big blue boar. <laughs> a big blue gray colored boar. That's right. It's it's dead empty. You all right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Did, you couldn't see what was happening, huh? Uh-uh. All the smoke. <sighs> Flopping around down <laughs> there. <gasps> well, fellas and ladies, we got us a hog, Woo! first hog. Natasha, Woo! congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at that boy. Awesome shot. Well, what do you think? Oh, that was cool. <laughs> that was really cool. It was worth having the first two get yep. away now, huh? We got one yeah. twice the size as that last one. Yeah, the first two we just uh, got off a of stock on, they, they caught us just as we were getting set up, set up on them, and uh, Natasha was just gonna squeeze the trigger a couple times. I could feel her just, it was just just about to go off and then they would move. What, three yeah. different times? And I told him, I said, let's hurry back. I said, there might be a big boar right around the corner and here he is. Welcome back to the choice. Now, besides trying to get this all ready on our food plot. That's it. With all the new growth and everything, we should have some bucks and velvet. You saw some when you were walking the dog the other morning. So yeah, we gotta baby. get that set up. Yes. Yeah, but you don't wanna shoot any of those. Why not? They're you told only, me there was a good one. It was wider than his ears. Oh, uh, no, I was lying. Yeah, well, Let's I have check an out idea. Freddy's hunt. Fre Freddy and Hoppy are down there, and they're stuck in hogs in the tall grasses out there. Freddy, Hoppy, that was hysterical. Watching you two crawl through there for a hog. We brought Bailey along with us this morning, had her in the dog box. And she's already come up here and smelled around. She's wanting she, to go. Yeah, she looks like she's ready to go. Why don't we get right on her? Good girl, Bailey. I seen her hook around right there. I knew she was. She awesome. Was awesome. Well, happy. Two years in a row, you've put me on two awesome boars. Look at the teeth on this bad guy. <laughs> got one broke off. He's out. actually got one broke off. You this, remember? You remember when we were stalking up there, we were looking at the big brown sow? Yep. And we said there were some younger ones there. And uh, all of a sudden, I look up and there's this big boar bedded down in the group. We didn't even know he was there. You know, now let's share with you what these hogs actually do. All the problems that they, I mean, they create and the, the property they destroy. That's Vicky. That sound is Vicky. That is not a hog, that is Vicky. You know, we always talk about what destruction that these hogs do. Here's a great example. Due to the severity of all the rain, every day it's raining, they're getting inches upon inches each day, but you can see where we've been putting the feed and look at what's happened to it in a matter of a few days. I mean, these hogs are just tearing it up. If they ain't rooting, you know, going in and rooting all the agriculture areas, they turn around and they devastate the land like this. And well, that's why Hoppy called us the hog busters. 
to come on down and have some fun. What? Will, what are you doing? Yeah, I'll talk to you about that one later. That's your present. Thanks. Let's get into your mom's hunt. You know, it's 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 what we've always said. Get the family involved, and we got her. It was on your hat. It's, it's my new real tree 3D leaf pattern. That, that's nice. Let's get into mom. Let's get into mom's hunt. Well, I'm up in a tree stand here waiting for them to come in from the grass to my left. Hopefully, I'll get my shot. Welcome back to The Choice. Now, this is a pretty special hunt. We love taking your mom out hunting. You know, or RJ would say nanny. Yes, nanny out hunting. And to share a hunt like this with your parents, parents that normally maybe would have given up hunting. Yes. You know what I mean? Definitely her arthritis. Her arthritis, she doesn't can't allow draw her, her bow. Doesn't, doesn't allow her to shoot her Hoyt anymore. No. Nope. But, but she still wants to go out there. She and is gung-ho. It's, it's unbelievable. The, the, like you, I mean, the energy that she has, and she goes out there, and and you film the whole hunt, and and to share that, I mean, every once in a while we get her out, maybe once a year or so to go hunting, and and she just loves it. So let's continue on with mom's hunt, shall we? Special deal. Great shot, mom. Like mother, like son. right here just huh? where's your hug oh wow Whew. wow isn't it cool to still be able to hunt yeah yeah it is sorry i can't shoot a regular bow but there's, you don't make any apologies. I wouldn't trade this for anything. I'm still able to be out here with you and Vicki and RJ, and I love every moment of it. We hope you enjoyed this week's show on The Choice. You know, it's always and always will be about The Choice. Taking, first of all, getting the family involved. Yes. It is so cool. To take mom out hunting. The opportunities that, that we have now to be able to take you know, mom or RJ would say nanny right. out hunting. You know, she she's a go-getter. She no is. And how. then Brian and Judy, again, thank you for getting Natasha involved oh. in the outdoors and bringing her down. That was great. Absolutely. And then we have Freddie and Travis, our two stepchilds. 
children. You know, I'm talking about those two. Do we get do we get like any uh, government breaks or what do you what pity we, pay? Pity pay no, for having them on the team. I don't think we get pity pay for being on the team. We have to weigh that one out. Yeah, we might have to. But as we've been stressing this whole time on the choice, is that this week we had archery crossbow and, and a muzzle yep. loader. We had stand hunting. We had spotting and stalking. It was a huge. It's all about it's all about hunting. Period. It is. It's all about hunting. It's your choice, your weapon, your style. Yep. Yep. So we hope you enjoyed this week. And remember, we hope you make your choice. The choice. We'll see you later. Here, I got you some blackberries. I know how much I you like them. I don't, why? Spit them in there. Keep them in.